Karen from Boston, you had a question about LT train and your run performance. Do you need to do it? What is it? How do you test for it? I'm going to tell you how. First, it's really important because it's higher intensity interval training. So when you do LT train, it kind of hurts. Hard to very hard effort. If we're looking at a beginner, I don't know your background, it's about 20 minutes or so of steady state running. If we look at someone at an intermediate level, maybe two or three times a week, been running for a few years, around 45 minutes. And again, there's a little bit of a gray area on both sides. Someone who's more advanced, 60 to 75 minutes. So how do you do a test out in the field, not in the lab, and you get an actual time or pace per mile or pace per kilometer? Take those same distances I just told you, go as hard as you can, Record your final 15 minutes of your heart rate. Record your pace per mile or pace per kilometer. You're going to be pretty darn close, close to your LT. Recognize that lactate threshold training, and the word lactate threshold, is the point that you're producing this lactic acid. It disassociates to hydrogen ions and also lactate, which is a fuel. What that simply says is that as you're going up harder, 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 there's a point that you can't remove it as quickly, and so your legs start to sting a little bit, your breathing rate goes up. So how do you do this in a workout to really reap the benefit? Think of intervals between 90 seconds to about three and a half minutes and a time between about 12 minutes all the way up to around 40 minutes of actually exercise time. Let me give you an example. 12 times two and a half minutes with an ascending rest. In other words, you want to try to hold your lactate threshold speed. So you may need more recovery as you go through that set. 12 times two and a half minutes. Start off with 30 seconds rest. You might have to go to a minute and you're holding the pace that you did on this time trial. I hope that helps one time a week in running and you're going to get faster and it's a great thing to do because your whole economy all the way across your energy systems from your aerobic end to even higher anaerobic end is going to benefit by this LT training.